Christos Conscious, Divine Galactics of the New Earth, rising into the dawning of the new golden age of eternal bliss consciousness. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with the Council of Nine Prime Disclosure, here to transmit our daily galactic messages to all of you. Today was a very special, powerful day with rapture energies coming in, the 2121 of victory, the 33 portal, the 33 of divine mastery. Today was day 9 of Navratri, the day of completion, the trinity of Brahma. Kali reaches completion with Siddhi Datri, the goddess of supernatural manifestation. Activated in this now, today I received a powerful message directly from Source through the Holy Spirit, which I transmit to you now, 42121, 433, 4610, 33, Gateway of Mastery. We are in what I call the Rapture Zone. We have reached and transcended the event horizon and are now traveling beyond light speed into the singularity which we call zero point and which walter russell would call the still white magnetic light at the center of all things this is the source of our i am presence we feel our way through the heart gate through the void and into eternal bliss consciousness at god goddess head as we achieve compression breakthrough at our singularity which is our great central sun hunabku we become supernova, golden, Christos, conscious, eternal beings of infinite light. This is not a state we attain, but is our eternal, true state of beingness. We call Buddha consciousness, Christ consciousness, cosmic consciousness, many concepts, fingers pointing to the same enlightenment, moon. When our earth angelic team of 144,000 reach the state of pure awareness and hold this consciousness, we co-create what is called the event or rapture as we step aside and allow the Holy Spirit to use our sacred vessel avatar for the highest good of all sentient beings of pure consciousness. A massive wave of highest frequency light expands instantaneously out from all central suns of all dimensions, timelines, universes, and creates the final event wave or what we call the quantum leap of consciousness from homo sapien to homo luminous. This has never been done before in the past in any timeline or dimension, and this is why you are so special, and this time is so special and important, and all the star nations across the universe and multiverse are here to witness this. We activate you in this gnosis, here now, in this sacred vessel. I am here now, in this body, where I always am, the body of Christ, the body of Buddha. The manifestation, the physical form of pure awareness, pure consciousness at the highest order, the highest level, the holiest temple, the highest peak of the most sacred mountain. I am the dragon that swallowed the whole universe, that become the sacred eagle, the white gold eagle, to transmit to you the highest Christ code of unconditional love, of divine unity consciousness. Thank you for joining us on this great mission. We are the event the world has been waiting for. And we are way beyond the 11th hour. We are at the tipping point, the full culmination, the final omega point of infinite timelessness, infinite dimensions. We are the harmonic convergence of the converging of all space-time continuums through the power of of my mighty I am presence, I activate you in this now of remembering your pure state of I am that I am. So feel into this bliss in the still center at the center of your vessel. For the great spirit activates and opens your sky eye, the eyes of your spirit. This is the portal between the third eye and the crown, the middle of 
the upper Dantian, which activates the Crystal Palace, which connects your consciousness to the Heart Gate, the Heart Center. Each Dantian, the Trinity, the three Dantians, Elixir Fields, Lower, Middle, Upper, there are three portals within each, the three, the six, and nine of the Nikola Tesla codes of free energy, free light, free life. This is the divine freedom code of ultimate sovereignty. Kings and queens of our royal Lyran nation of the Lions of Lemuria, open the eyes of your spirit and wake up now into your divine mission. You know who you are and you know why you came. And now it is time to rise, to expand your light into the void, lighting up all souls, all dimensions, nowhere darkness can hide from this light. We have risen. This is it. Now let's take a look at what's going on in the field. After three days of massive higher dimensional waves coming in, whiteouts on the Schumann resonance, many columns, pillars of white light coming in today was very quiet. We had the Trinity, the 333, and then today, very still and calm, power of seven. We also had one, two, three, 123 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in a very interesting pattern on Pachamama, a massive triangle pyramid across the Pacific Ocean. This is the Merkaba, the Ascension Merkaba, the Star of David. And you see the base of the pyramid that points up across the whole ocean, just south of the Tropic of Cancer, starting in Mariana Islands on the east band of the Ring of Fire at 17.575 latitude, 147.375 longitude. Then we had an activation in the heart of Lemuria, in the center of the base, Pahala, island of Hawaii, with a 3.0. These were all three magnitude. So we had the Trinity, the 333, 36 kilometers depth. And then on the western point with the divine masculine Atlantean energy, Puerto Rico, 3.1 and then in the apex the top point north of the arctic circle in northern canada a three magnitude and this was at 69.054 latitude 144.746 longitude this is the 33 portal 1411 utc so we have encoded within these activations the trinity of the three the most powerful activation today in Chile, South America, with a 5.5, 5, 5, 5. in the sacred Andes Mountains, Kundalini of Pachamama, as the Kundalini is activated in every living being through the Rainbow Bridge of Durga, the great ceremony of Navratri, Navaratri, Navaratri, navigating the Holy Trinity. Earlier today, San Juan Bautista, California, 3.1. Loving New Mexico, 3.0. Dominican Republic with the Divine Masculine, Divine Christ. New Atlantis, 3.5. 73 kilometers depth, 37 into the 73 coming in all day. Heaven on Earth. Antigua and Barbuda in the Caribbean, also Atlantean Energy, 4.5. Tonga on the Ring of Fire. Just north of the Tropic of Capricorn, 4.913 of the Divine Goddess. And we had a 4.1 activation. Chile, South America, 4.1. Solomon, Sun of the Moon. Islands, 4.5. Council of Nine coming in. The whole ring of fire lit up. The heart, all three Dantians of Pachamama. Activating your three sacred portals in the center of each portal. This is the eye in the middle the true center, the true portal. Let us continue now with the Sabian symbols. Right now, the moon is at 24 degrees, 7 minutes Leo. Sun at 2 degrees, 12 minutes Taurus. 212, mirror, duality reflecting itself perfectly with the I am presence in the center. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 25 degrees Leo. A large camel crossing a vast and forbidding desert. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 3 degrees Taurus. Steps up to a lawn blooming with clover from astrologyweekly.com. 
Now today, again, my sacred condor pulls a card for you from the deck Forest of Enchantment Tarot from Lunea Weatherstone. And since today the first card was a challenge card, she pulled two for clarity. The first one is the Child of Challenges. The Child of Challenges is lost in the woods. She doesn't waste time berating herself or others for this predicament, nor does she indulge in tears or panic. She takes a deep breath, finds a dry place to sit, and considers her options. She knows that five minutes spent thinking things through are far better than five minutes of running wildly in all directions. She remains calm and alert, mentally retracing her steps. If this card does not represent a particular person, it can mean the approach of a more difficult time and a need to plan and prepare. Character traits, cleverness, quickness of mind, ability to focus, love of learning, fondness for study, good in an emergency, honest. Shadow traits, a tendency to overthink and obsess, argumentative, very argumentative, always knows best, sets impossible standards for herself, can be tactless. And the second card she pulled for you, for clarity, a powerful card, Seeker of Spells. The Seeker of Spells has come to the woods in secret to find a flower that only blooms on this one night, as of which she has no fear of the nocturnal forest. Indeed, the danger only makes her quest more thrilling. Her daring has paid off and she arrives at the precise moment of the blossoms unfurling. That too is thrilling, to run the risk of missing the moment and losing the magic. Playing it safe is for those with no witch blood in their veins. If this card doesn't represent a particular person, it can mean creative exploration, trusting your instincts in terms of timing, breaking through a stale routine, or spontaneous travel without a great deal of planning. Character traits, bold, spirited, dramatic, venturesome, fearless, Passionate in her pursuits, shadow traits, impulsive, would rather apologize than ask for permission, easily bored, headstrong, willful. I don't believe those are shadow traits at all. <laughs> These are a sign of silent power. Now today, from Isis Channelings, Kundalini Rainbow Bridge of Durga, Sekhmet Kali reaches completion, Day 9, Navaratri. Today, April 21st, is the ninth and final day of Nanavratris, the day when Durga finally defeats the demon Mahishasura, signifying victory of good over evil, that is our own victory over shadow aspects, over lower emotions, thought, egotistical desires and projections, karmic redemption and fears that keep us from growing to our highest potential. Goddess Durga's ninth form, Ma Siddhidatri, is worshipped on this day, and as her name implies, she is the ultimate giver of Siddhis, that is, supreme powers of divine manifestation. According to Hindu mythology, Lord Shiva got all his Siddhis from worshipping the Maha Shakti, Adi Shakti, and thus goddess Siddhidatri emerged from his right side, which is why Lord Shiva is known as Ardhana Rishvara, half man, half woman, complete being. Ma Siddhidatri is believed to have blessed the trinity of Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahadev with aid of the ultimate divine powers, Siddhis of Godhood, manifestation of desires, ability to conquer all and emerge victorious, ability to change states of physical beingness, materialization and dematerialization of physical body, teleportation, Ability to leave and re-enter a physical body at will by becoming light, etc. At this stage, the devotee initiate is ready to move into masterhood, to reach God, goddess head, by union of spirit with matter, the ultimate union, union of physical self with the divine light. Today, the earth plus individual kundalini energies unite with the cosmic kundalini energies. The kundalini rainbow bridge is now complete. Now over the next few days, until the Kali, Scorpio full moon, the cosmic kundalini energies will travel down this rainbow bridge and re-enter back to Earth, Gaia, via our individual crown chakra, and the sacred sites and down our kundalini pathways, crown to root. On the Scorpio-Kali full moon, 
the final marriage of Cosmic Kundalini plus Earth Kundalini via the pathway of our individual Kundalini energy pathways will be completed via the union of heaven and earth, spirit and matter, as above, so below. Union energies and the rerouting of individual Kundalini energies, pathways, soul path, which many are, will be experiencing now. Tower moments are never a joy ride, but essential for the new paradigm that is to come in of the return of the goddess head so that the balanced godhead plus goddess head is restored for it is from this union that new creation of a new age is to emerge and light and grace and joy be the change you want to see sake na from isis channelings dot wordpress dot com today from divine bro star of light rick jewers the plasma layer is about to be seen with the naked eye now for many for those not seeing it yet I suggest to be outside in the night and focus with your eyes to the actual space about 30 to 100 meters directly above you or even on a heightened angle from you. Give your eyes a few moments to adjust to the focused area then you will begin to see the plasma which for now has mostly three colors that you may see individually or in combination. These three dominant colors of the plasma, the creator activated energy for now are green, blue, and violet pink. Depending upon your advancement, you may also see the particles of light sparkle as your consciousness activates the energy through the focus and conscious thought. When your mind is free of clutter, you will see and find more of your abilities in this now and begin to interact with creation on the quantum physics level and beyond. You have the command sequence for the particles of creation. It is within your heart. It is the grail, the ark, the Merkaba, the fountain of youth, immortality, the keys, etc., all in one. You may also see the meshing, the netting, the grid layering that will be seen as if it is a fence of black wires above you. This fence is the ceiling of the 4D grid, and the 5D higher grid lays just above that. As we raise the frequency vibration of humanity and this reality, we breach the ceiling of 4D and arrive in the first echelon of the 5D state of being in reality. The 5D state cannot have density and fear in that reality. This is where the remnants of consciousness darkness get left behind. Once the breakthrough of the meshing occurs, the remnants of darkness and tents were to keep spreading fear scenarios to the masses like war, disease, etc. These are dense conscious themes set up by the darkness to retain the lower density state for all. By believing and spreading the word of war, etc. It creates a negative energy which becomes a weight on the overall vibration. By unawakened ones and even some awakened ones keeping in their conscious thoughts any of the fear programs, it is energized and created to some degree for the darkness. The darkness cannot directly create their own reality. They create it by ones unbeknownst to them being tricked to keep the old paradigm alive. There have been a massive disassembly of dark constructs over the last few weeks, and those co-creators of the highest levels of consciousness now are to push the intense, enhanced light being supplied to the surface currently, further purifying the creational space where the density is dissolving as a result of more waking up. Love and Light, Rick Jewers. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Celia Fenn. The wave of angelic sound and light continues to reverberate in our bodies. I do feel that it is beginning to settle a little as we begin to vibrate at the frequency of this higher tone. It is not easy for us as we lift and expand, so much as crashing and crumbling as the world of illusion drops away. We may be feeling pain in the body as the new frequency makes adjustments to the physical body. We may be feeling anxious and confused as we adjust to this new soul space and its energies. We may be feeling out of alignment with what we see in the world. This wave of angelic light is cleansing and preparing us to fully enter the new earth frequencies. Release what is dropping away and flow with the liquid light of love and compassion. The old is crumbling, but the new is birthing. Love to everyone. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Kwana Michaela, Energy Report, April 21st. New light is coming in, bringing more plasma waves into our planetary field, dazzling radiance and tones of brightness, new contrast and divine harmonies. The light itself is changing its spectrum, depending on what 
is experienced with the frequencies and ultra-high radiation emissions as we are moving further up the spiral of life, ascension, and our primary ascension timeline, and having such a profound month of April. Heightened pitches, sound waves, and notes are working like containers of information. It is perceived through our air channels, through calming breath, inhale and exhale into the Christed frequencies, crystalline data, the new earth creation, manifestation, basic key tones, new strengthening for the collective mental body after solar expansion started its progress, new nourishment for our crystalline light bodies. Part of the incoming energies, April 21st, also contains information, data codes for our movement into May. With present energies, you can access the bridge, rainbow frequency that leads above worldly nonsense and have our own renewed path further into May. Important aspects for this now, light codes, abundance of solar light codes and key codes, crystal codes, using of light language to fulfill and anchor codes for the new earth grid, highest heart activations, ruby ray presence, facets of highest love, physical changes due to incoming light. The physical vessel can respond with a reactive digestive system, nausea, dizziness, slight headache, sensitivity at the top of the head, a bright screen in the front of the eyes while head absorbs and streams through consistent light, more sharp vision or blurry vision, watery eyes, vibration in feet, ankles, legs, electromagnetic field for the legs can feel like a substance that consists of infinite numbers of spinning particles. Powerful uplifting and energies, bliss, also moments when you can barely keep awake. Brilliant and sparkling are beautiful spring under rainbow solar rays with love and hugs, Quana Michaela. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel, the new spinal column of the new earth. Immensely powerful energies are pouring in, and thus as our new light bodies form for the new earth, we indeed now have two spinal columns one still in the physical form and one in the etheric, or rather in the light body as it gets activated in seven stages. When the light body gets activated all at once, we would not be able to still bridge form between the old earth and the new earth. We are in a time still of transition, although many are already operating in the new earth, and thus in that much higher dimensional state. The old physical form takes a bit longer to adjust, although it is there already adjusting. I am noticing this constantly within my own body now, as all is being rejuvenated and being reinvented, and others do start to notice this too. When they do, I know this is not my imagination, but very real. I was called to a place this morning where I first encountered the crystal pyramids, sunk offshore under the sea, and an immensely powerful vortex energy. I often am called there when immense changes are about to occur and then shown what these are. Indeed, I nearly took off as the powerful energy of the new earth surged through me, and I literally welcomed into the new earth and indeed walked upon her, as she is very much present and accessible within nature, especially the waters. When I came back, I was still so energized that I needed to lie down, and then was shown what was happening. I now clearly saw my second spinal column stretching way beyond my head, as the physical embodiment in the light body of the new earth is much taller. At the same moment I was shown how more chakras are now forming and opening, not just 12 but indeed 24 and these will expand when we fully incorporate the new earth embodiment to 36 etc. The spinal column acts as a lightning rod, an energy conductor and more than this a tuning fork and indeed acts like a cosmic antenna which tunes into the cosmic spinal column and that of the earth. In this case, again too, the old and the new, until the old then completely dissolves. This is because we are still very much physically involved in the old earth, although transitioning. I have worked with the spinal column of the earth since 2009, and worked intensely with the full opening, as during the different epochs on earth, and the sinking of land masses and reforming of such, especially after the floods, a lot of these centers were shut down. Read my book, Why I Was Born in Africa, the previously unrecorded history of Elysium and the Lion Kingdom. I was therefore overjoyed to see that the new spinal column of the new earth was in place and indeed vibrating at immense speed. It was of a much higher frequency and vibration, dimensional, than the old and it was indeed now activating dormant centers in the Giza pyramids 
and all the pyramids on earth, which are still visible, and the crystal pyramids and crystalline pyramid grids. During the time of Elysium, all of the crystal pyramids were placed in strategic places, and all were tuned in the spinal column of the earth. And these are all powerful points within a massive power grid, which is literally plugged in through the spinal column of the solar core, the galactic core, and the universal core spinal columns, as above, so below. I was shown how the whole is tuned into the Orion and Sirius and Cygnus, Horus, and indeed how energy is pouring in the intergalactic and universal cores through these into the spinal column of the new earth. In turn, all of you are going to find that there is great movement now within your spinal column. This is because of the second spine becoming more activated in some, and indeed expanding in those whose light bodies are activated in the first stages. Note there are seven stages. We are but in the first stages now, as by 2032 the full activations will be active as the old earth totally disintegrates. What this means is that our sacred heart centers are then fully activated, as well as our higher minds, psychic, channeling, and transmitting and tuning abilities, and we will be able to access cosmic information and knowledge and wisdom, which will assist us to co-create the new golden age. We will be going through intense changes in the next few months, as the old earth disintegrates more in the old systems and old ways, and transition into the new. Indeed, the more we cling onto the old, the more they will find that it all dissolves, the old cannot hold form any longer. Yet understand that the greatest transition will come inside of you. You will be stretched into the new you. Within a year from now, you will hardly recognize yourself anymore, and that is how it should be. Seek not validation outside yourself. Seek this within. Walk in the company of the divine and your highest guidance, and you will find yourself navigating the immense changes easily, and rise ever higher into the true you, the new you, the expanded you, the truthful you, and the new earth. You will be assisted through it all. The new spinal column will indeed reveal so much within ourselves which we need now to remember so that we can walk the new earth. As it gets activated more and more, we will start to reassume our full universal mastery and reconnect with the all the parts of our soul and resume our galactic and universal citizenship in the highest degrees. We will now be able to manifest into form and being in much higher ways and degrees and within the divine laws. More than this, from the sacred heart as one, with the divine and the highest truth within, we will be able to communicate heart to heart, soul to soul, and telepathically, and lies and deceit will exist no more. The spinal columns are tuning us into our cosmic self and Mother Earth back into the cosmic fray where she truly belongs. From JudithKusul.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh, The Most High is opening His door to His kingdom. This paradigm shift is taking us away from heartbreak and loss and ascending us into the light. God is breathing new life into us, restoring our souls. We are collectively leaving a reality where the masculine were ruled under lust and temptation. The amount of disharmony and mental overload caused from the beast-run system has taken a toll. We've had to do it not only for ourselves, but to free the children and animals from the abuse caused from the serpent's agenda. Since October 2020, this paradigm shift has been occurring. Frenemies who try to keep you off your throne are karmically clearing from your field. You have passed all the initiations, grown your level of discernment, and have protected yourself, family, and union from their wicked ways. You are now ascending into your rightful position on your throne in God's kingdom. Brain rewiring is happening for you and your counterpart. Mother Earth is supporting your healing, stability, and connection to her in dream time. The enemy cannot interfere with this. Sleep paralysis will no longer occur. Your union is protected for your harvest to come to fruition. The assessment of your own value and worth to accept only the best for yourself is showing results. You are protected to create your family legacy in union. Purification by fire continues for you to enter the bridal chamber. Keep going forward knowing this path is bringing results. All praises to the Most High in Jesus Christos' name. Amen. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah, White Horse, Lua Astrology, Sun Conjunct Asteroid Alice in Taurus, 
Saturn and Aquarius square asteroid Prometheus in Taurus. Curiouser and curiouser. Normally in Taurus kingdom, the terrain is familiar and comfortable, but today there's a rabbit hole in the path, and down we fall, tumbling into a strange world where little seems to make sense. But don't fret. This is just a moment in time offering a different perspective, an alternative reality, and maybe we can take something from this dream-like place, put it to use in the outer world. The story of Alice is that of a child growing up. Mistakes, wrong turns, and misunderstandings are natural. Under this dreamlike influence, there's so much that we can learn. With imagination, we can fly, build houses and careers, create sculptures and symphonies. The inner light of creativity, the urge to manifest something of ourselves in the world, comes from the spark of divinity within. Maybe you're afraid to bring forth your vision, scared of failure, punishment, ridicule. Give yourself permission to grab the flame and light up the world. A little magic along with hard work creates wonders to behold. Seize the day. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times. Kin 128. Yellow Spectral Star. Spectral is the name for the number 11, and its keywords are liberate, release, and dissolve. We are traveling through the white mirror wave spell currently, and yellow star is the challenge of the mirror. Because of the math involved in the Zolkin, the 11th day is always the challenge. This means we get respite from whatever agenda was set at the beginning. So release yourself from truth-seeking, liberate yourself from this task. Today is yellow star, which represents beauty, art, and elegance. Celebrate beauty today. Indulge in stargazing. Wear something that makes you feel beautiful. Spruce up your space and add some sparkle. Pass on a beautiful smile and make being alive an art form. Today is not about being serious or digging deep into your soul or searching for truth. Appreciating the beautiful world about you and the people in your life is what it is all about. So be a star today and allow yourself to shine bright. You will feel liberated. The guide today is also yellow star, so follow that guiding starlight. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, yellow spectral star. Kin 128, 21, April 2021, Liberating Beauty. 21, 4, 2021, equal 3, 4, 5, equal 3, 9, equal 12, equal 3, 21, 21, Victory Code. 21, Crown of the Magi, Honors, Rewards. 4, Angelic Code, Foundation, Structure, Form. 5, Liberation, Change, Transformation, Freedom. 9. Endings, Destiny, Mission, Service, Humanity. 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity. Kin 128 equal 11 equal 2. 11. Portal, Duality, Doorway. 2. Partnership, Cooperation. The spectral tone is tone number 11 and Kin 128 adds up to 11. So we have an 1111 code as a doorway to release the pass. Coupled with a 2121 day code which denotes victory over past challenges. A very powerful day for liberation from disharmonious relationships and toxic emotions. Day 11 in the white mirror wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Today we are focused on liberating our inner beauty through uncovering and dissolving discordant emotional patterns that white mirror is reflecting in the core of our being, particularly in relation to our partnerships and relationships. Tone of creation, spectral is the eleventh tone of creation. It operates in the emotional realm and its actions are that of dissolving, releasing, and liberating. This is a very powerful opportunity to release core wounding and move forward fearlessly free from obstructions. The spectral action today with the two and eleven codes focuses on partnerships, putting your relationships under the magnifying glass for close examination. This very powerful energies work to create final closure. Dissolving all impediments to you finally claiming your true beauty. Tony Levin symbolizes a gateway in polarity, inviting you to step through into a new reality where time equals art and life is beautiful. So precious hearts, laugh, dance, and sing with your beloved kin and enjoy this beautiful starry day, imagining a new harmonic reality in our beauty-filled world. It is time to liberate more bliss. Today's question is what do I need to release and dissolve in order to liberate more beauty and art in the new harmonic matrix? Divine blessings for a beauty-filled day of liberation and celebration. 
and La Queca La Kin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 128, Yellow Spectral Star. The mantra, the code for today is, I dissolve in order to beautify, releasing art, I seal the store of elegance. With the spectral tone of liberation, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of rapturing and activation, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your visions, your dreams, and your synchronicities. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notification on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below for the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. And we'd appreciate anyone that will like, comment, and share these videos. This will help us get the information out to more of our team. I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for supporting us in our work and mission. We rely on our pledges on Patreon and donations for our daily living expenses. So if you'd like to help support us to continue doing our work with our daily transmissions, and we will be bringing many beautiful things to you in the future, art, music, sacred song, mantras. Thank you everyone that donated to our Harmonium Fund. We did order the Harmonium. It should be here from India in the next couple of weeks. So we'll start producing some beautiful songs, the Eagle and the Condor, with her angelic, divine, elven voice, an amazing singer and songwriter. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light Hope for your pledge and support on Patreon. If you'd like to support our work and mission, you can make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure or make a donation at eaglelovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors art business on Etsy. She has many beautiful handmade works of art, beautiful goddess totems, and healing jewelry. Please check out the video we posted on our channels of Divine Bro Star Pat Shemery's experience with her beautiful goddess totems. Thank you, Bro Star of the Light Pat, for creating that beautiful video. You can support my queen's sacred art business at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to end today's transmission with two powerful activations, one from our Pleiadian brothers and sisters of the light, one from Divine Brostar, the light Lee Parare. So we start with the Pleiadians, Pleiades 1 messages, April 12, 2021. P1 calling Terrans for origins recognition, attentions for call in PVSE-SDE. Elementals are approaching. Syriana forces express themselves. Centaurians are approaching. Central are approaching. Mid escapes continue to be nullified. Terrans call to liberations. Healing environment is expanded. New rebirths in life happen. PAA plus AG approved. Sequences of events begin. Attention supporters next. 69% non-regressive. Crystalline aspect increase, plastic wars are over, plasmic parasites are removed from a specific environment, ozone layers are enlarged, air purifications in progress, temporarily end of transmission, Pleiades 1, potentiating shamanic inheritances from disclosurenews.it and sacred codes from our divine bro star of the Huna nation, Lee Parare. Curved space harmonic, 2D information highways, crystal wave continuum, magnetic dream time ley lines, whales, dolphins, elephants, dragons, celestial stewardship navigators, mankind now life matters, sentient virus on earth rock, regressive psychotic entities, black sun satanic death cult trading children slaves life inverted images projection reflect construct loop repeat reality spin illusion in linear time memory descending spiral algorithm reversal d-wave quantum mirror simulation weaponized the biodome overlaid bodies energetic circuitry Planetary, social engineering clampdown, political cabal, bullies, military might, corrupt business, science, law, religion, AI, cube, fascist, order world, inc, tyranny, 
Casino Royale for Planet Earth, Fractured Minds, Imploding Timeline, Entering Deep Space, Abyss of Sound, Galactic Plane of Plasma Field Waves, Gravity Pulling to Source, Jubilee Year, Merging Frequency and Consciousness, Elemental Solar Plexus Transfiguration, Standing in Higher Dimensional Order, Space Vibration, Lattice Blueprint Tones, Multiverse No Limits, Crystal, Hologram, Kingdom of Conscience, Temple of Light, Star Body Essence, at Lyra, Egyptian, Ceres, Expand Love Frequency, Royal Lines, Guardians Inheritance, Crystalline Grids, Non-Duality, Not Two, Nature Within. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Keep stepping into the glory of the dawning of the new age, the age of Aquarius. This is the gateway, the portal, entering the time of timelessness through the power of our true heart center. Be the peace, the love, the joy you want to see in the world. And remember, the internal mirrors the external, and the external mirrors the internal. So seek ye the kingdom of heaven within, the peace, the joy, the bliss, the love, the truth that resonates from your heart center. And tr project that, emanate that out into the field, into this realm, to the field of energy, as the two become one, the one and the many, the many and the one. For in this time of great awakening, the kingdom of God is at hand. We know this fully now, and we can live from this truth. Keep walking your sacred path with heart, shining your light brightly into the night. Make it the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.